Hello everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Task Automation Engineer. We are in chapter 4 and we are looking forward to the next topic which is the scope and approach of the test automation. Now here we are talking about the test automation maintenance and also looking at the next thing is what can be the scopes and different approaches which can be applied as a part of maintaining the same. So very first thing about understanding is what kind of layers, what kind of responsibilities, what kind of components are involved as a part of maintenance as a process which can affect all different layers and component of tests. The scope of it depends on various factors and the sum of them are the size and complexity of the tasks what is the size and complexity involved, the size of the change, what kind of change is getting done as a part of it, the risk of the change involved, like when you make certain changes, why or what kind of risk is involved as a part of it. So this is what is more important to be understood at this point of time. Given the fact the maintenance refers to tasks in operation, an impact analysis is necessary to determine how the system may be affected by changes. And of course, we have been talking about impact analysis since foundation. We understood impact analysis is a study which generally helps you to determine what kind of uh, changes will affect the different part of the system. And that study will also help you to determine how the regressions will be conducted for the remaining application. So it is really important to determine the same. Further, when you continue, it is also important to understand how the time efficiency is contributing factor to the automation success factor. So, because time efficiency is the main contributing factor to the success of test automation, it becomes critical to have good practices for maintaining the tasks. So it's, it's really critical and important because it should be done well within the time. If it is unavailable during the point when it is required to be there, it may become a challenging situation though you have a task solution for your organization. So some of them include the deployment procedure and usage of the task must be clear and documented. The third party dependencies must be documented together with the drawbacks and common known issues. The task must be modular, so part of it can be easily replaced. The task must run in an environment that is replaceable or with replaceable component. The task must separate test script from the task itself. The task must run isolated from the development environment so that the changes to the task will not adversely affect the test environment. The task together with the environment, test suite, and test suite artifacts must be under configuration management. So these are certain list of uh, factors which should be considered as a good practice towards maintaining the task considering the time constraints. Continuing further, there are also several considerations for the maintenance of the, uh, sorry, maintenance of the third party components and other libraries also. Now, we generally, we depend a lot of times the external add-ins or external libraries to create our automation solutions. So generally, we have third-party softwares, third-party code, third-party libraries, or any such predefined library functions which could be helpful to run your automation script. And what kind of consideration do we involve here? Very often, it is case the, that the test will be third-party component to run the test. It may also be the case that the test depends on third-party libraries. So all the third-party components or car parts of the task must be documented under configuration management. So it must be clearly defined and documented so that any kind of dependency tomorrow, if anything updates in the third-party software or third-party libraries, we understand what all need to be updated from our side. It is also necessary to have a plan in case these external components need to be modified or fixed. The person responsible for the task maintenance needs to know who to contact and where to submit an issue. There must be a documentation regarding the license under the third party components are used so that these, there is information on whether they can be modified to what degree and by whom. For each of the third party component, it is necessary to get information about dates and new versions. Keeping the third party components and libraries up to date is a preventive action that pays off the investment in the long term runs. So these are some of the special consideration in terms of the external components on supporting files from third party softwares as well to support your maintenance of tasks. 
So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything beyond this, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your questions and queries. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.